I want to explain today how Facebook, Instagram ads work, even TikTok and a little bit of Spotify and how powerful it is to be running ads and why you should be running ads as an artist. I don't care if you got five, 10 bucks, the more you can spend, the better to get known because, you know, I have a million monthly listeners on Spotify as the artist manifest and nobody knows who I am. All right. Like I'm practically unknown compared to the possibilities. Right. Uh, and, and it's amazing today. The, just the other day, someone said they found my song via, um, Spotify's algorithm through release radar and it popped up in their release and they commented on Instagram. They're like, this is freaking awesome. I found you this way. And so it's always cool to hear how fans are, are finding you. Right. And that's one of the questions like I even challenge you to post on your Instagram or Facebook. You want to get an engagement, ask a question, right? Like, how did you hear about me? You know, like where, where were you when you first heard my, my song? Like try posting that or what's your favorite song or what's your favorite album of mine? You know, and if you have like zero fan base, then take an album that's famous and that's in your genre of music. Like for me, it would be Linkin Park. Hey, what's your favorite Linkin Park album? This 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 album really inspired me or whatever. And watch the flood of, of, of comments, okay? That's a little tip there just to get some engagement. But the reason Facebook and Instagram ads work so well is because of the, the algorithm and the pixel and the machine learning, right? So as soon as you start running a Facebook and Instagram ad, as soon as it's approved and it's running, and hopefully you did a video ad, right? So that you can have your music playing, not just a, an image, but something with your music and hopefully a cool video so they can see you and connect with you and just build that more of that bond so they can see you, right? And so every time someone clicks on it, every time someone watches a percentage of the video and the more they watch, the more data Facebook and Instagram is collecting. Every time someone sees it and just swings past it and doesn't do anything, Facebook is collecting all that data. Like if they're leaving a comment or liking it, they're collecting that data, especially if they click on it and then go buy the thing that you were selling or promoting, you better believe they're, they're collecting that data, which is the most important when you're running a conversion ad. All right, which I teach you in the 10x your fan base challenge. Go to 10xyourfanbase.com forward slash live challenge so you can go on the next five day challenge and work with me one on one for five days straight. Now, the reason I talk about that is because it's a conversion ad. So you're running the type of ad like you could run for brand awareness, reach, video views, but my favorite is conversion. Okay, because when you run a conversion ad, when someone has, whether given them your name and email in exchange for your music, or they've bought something and they land on the next page, if you've got the pixel code set up right, then that fires off a message to Facebook and Instagram and says, hey, this type of person took that action. Let's go put this ad in front of more people like that. And this is the same thing when they're watching 50% of your video or 80% of your video or the people that aren't the algorithm and machine is like separating the people. It's like sh separating the sheep from the goats. Okay. You want the sheep, you want the people that are actually taking action. You don't want the goats, the people that aren't taking action. So Facebook and Instagram literally finds out who is taking action, who is liking your ad and showing it to more people. One of the problems is with most artists is you turn off your ad way too soon. All right. You don't even give it a chance. You don't spend enough money. You need too small of a budget. So it's taking too long. All right. Third, you edit the thing and you keep farting with it and making changes and da -da 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 -da, and you don't allow it to even learn and get out of the learning phase. All right. Did you know there's a learning phase? All right. For, for when you're running conversion ads specifically, it takes 50 conversions within a seven day period to learn. Now you can get 50 conversions in a day if you have enough budget. So what do I mean by conversions? Well, I mean like if you're running an ad to give away your name and email, right? And you got the pixel set up, right? And this is what we teach you on the 10X Your Fan Base Challenge. So say it costs you two bucks per uh, per person to sign up and give you their name and email. Well, if, you, if it's costing you two bucks, well, that means you need to be spending at least um, what's two divided, you need 50 leads. So a hundred dollars, hundred dollars divided by seven, 
So what's my math? You probably need to be spending, what's 100 divided by 7? Uh, where's my math right now? Like 15, 10? I don't know what it is. Anyways, you need to be spending like 15 to 20 bucks a day, all right? I know my math is really off on that. But that's so that you get 50 conversions within 7 days so that the pixel is learning. You know, I know when I'm running ads for a sale, for them to buy my music, it might cost more. It might cost $10 to get a purchase. Okay, well, if I need, that means I need to be spending, what? Again, in a seven-day period, I need hundred. I need to spend at least $100 within seven days to get those, um, or actually more than that. If it's costing me 10 bucks, it means I need to be spending 500 bucks, right? Because I need 50 conversions to give Facebook and Instagram enough data to learn, right? But again, we give up too soon. And you might be like, oh, this is too advanced. Look, you have something to sell. I guarantee you, I can help you figure out something to sell with your music, all right? It could be a mixtape. It could be covers. It could, you know, it's so much stuff that you can create to sell and run ads. But what's so powerful about this and why I love the machine learning is that, look, you can target 10 million people. But Facebook and Instagram is not going to show your ad to those 10 million people. It's going to show it to a portion of them and find out who's responding. And then out of that 10 million, only show it to maybe the the 3 or 4 million that are actually going to be interested in your ad. Now, of course, hopefully you have a good ad. And I always like to run at least two ads at a time. When I start a new ad campaign, I like to run two ads because I don't know which one's going to convert better. And on the last 10x your fan base challenge, I sh- show on everybody how to do ads and I'm setting up ads and I hadn't run these two ads before. And the one that I thought was going to do better did worse. And the one I thought was going to do okay, that's the one Facebook was like, dang, dude, this is the one that's working. And so the budget that I had, Facebook automatically, like on the first day or two, it kind of split the budget evenly. And then on the third day, it started to put all the budget in towards the ad that it was working. Like, how awesome is that? How smart is that, right? So you, you, you give two ads, two different ads, different thumbnail, maybe one's a different video, and maybe it's promoting the same thing, but you got two different ads running, and then Facebook tells you which one is working better. So what do you do? You shut off the one that's not working, and then you create another ad and try and beat it, right? Like, and you, you test things. But like I was saying in another video, man, a lot of you are just like, oh, it didn't work. I tried, it didn't work. No, you probably didn't do it right. You didn't have me look at the ad, help me fix it, edit it, give you specific advice, and then what your your page that you're sending them to, like there's just so much you could have wrong on that page. And, And I go into this on the challenge, man. Like your page speed is probably too slow. You're probably using some crappy software like Constant Contact or MailChimp which I teach you to use something else on there. And I give you all the free templates when you sign up, all right, and show you how to use the automated software and all this stuff so that once people give you their name and email, you're sharing your story, you're sharing your music, you're building your brand, and then you're eventually making sales of your music. So go to 10xyourfanbase.com forward slash live challenge. The next one is May 23rd. It's going to be awesome. It's five days straight. If you want to ask me questions every morning, Get the VIP ticket. Get the VIP ticket so that you can ask me questions. Plus, you'll be the first to get a chance to apply to work with me for the rest of the year. And I can be your coach and really help you out and blow this thing up, man. But you got to take action, man. And you need to get focused. Follow one course until successful. Stop jumping around, man. Choose one coach and let's go. If it's me, then let's go. If it's someone else, let's go. Stop watching my videos if it's someone else, then go go train under them. But if you want to train under me and you see the success I'm having, 1 million monthly listeners, I'm going to 10 million. The problem with most artists isn't that they set goals too high and miss it. It's that you set goals too low and you hit it. You, you, you see yourself too small. You need to see yourself bigger. Like you, you got way more greatness, way more talent within you, but you see yourself too small, bro. Like, girl, come on. You got talent. You got to think bigger. I don't care what the family said. I don't care what your friends say. I don't care what the critics say. No one writes a story about critics. No one knows the name of a critic. I don't know the name of Bunny in the Basement, 1945-6. Mr. John, 79, you know, I'm 
living in my girlfriend's parents' basement. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, let's not care what the critics say because nobody remembers a critic. But those that do great things. So you want to go out and you want to do great things. Well, it's going to cost... It's going to require you to do some things you've never done before. If you want to become the artist you've never been before, you need to do something you've never done before. And a coach is going to tell you to do something that you've never done before. Like, the success rate of artists is so low, okay? There is no competition in the music space, all right? There's the 1%, and I'm a part of that. All right, I'm part of the 1%. There's the Drakes that are the the 0.001%, right? But a million monthly listeners, all right? You want to get that, well, you got to stop doing what other people are doing. You got to do something different. Right? But most artists give up. Most artists gives up. What was the stat? Like 10,000 songs a day or something like that. They're not promoting their songs. They're not actually putting effort into it. Come on. They're not actually focusing on one song, getting the mix right. Okay, before the mix, getting the writing right, getting the production right, like crafting a great song, then getting good artwork and everything around it to blow this thing up. There's no competition. That's good for you and me, man. Most artists aren't even running Facebook and Instagram ads. On the last challenge, I, I was showing like how a bunch of famous artists aren't even running ads and they're missing out on so much opportunity. And another day goes by. And another year goes by. You want, you want to go around the mountain again? Go around the mountain again. I'm not going around the mountain again. I'm going to the top of the mountain. Right? There's a bunch of different ways you can go up. And I look at this with like the children of Israel in the Bible. Right? They kept on going around the mountain. And then God finally said, go northward. You know? So I, I've been around that mountain. I've made so many mistakes. I call my company Smart Music Business. Not because I'm so smart. But I made so many dumb decisions. And then I said, I'm going to stop doing it that way. I'm going to get a coach. I'm going to go to the top quicker because I'm going to surround myself with people that are going to help me, whether I got to pay for that or whatever it is, or work my butt off to be around winners, be around people that are killing it and, and that are going to stretch me and have a different conversation than just trying to get by. It's like, no, I want, I want to kill it this year and I want you to kill it this year too. So go to 10 fanbasecom forward slash live challenge. I look forward to seeing you on the next challenge, May 23rd. It's going to be awesome. Have a great day. Peace.